Hello and welcome to the Hooniversity of Law. In today's video I'm going to be doing a sort of reverse of what I did in my last previous video um, which is I'm not giving you a review of 2022 but I'm giving you a look ahead on my account, my Big Finish account, to the incredible releases we've got planned so far for 2023. Now I'm sure this list isn't exhaustive, I'm sure there's going to be more releases announced as well. Also a few of these releases you'll see there aren't many details so for the stuff we've got details about, we're going to do a little bit of speculation. But otherwise, it's just nice to kind of get, get ourselves excited, what we're looking forward to, because it's a big year, 2023. It's an anniversary year. Uh, big Finish clearly aren't going to disappoint. There's plenty of stuff for this 60th anniversary year. Every year is special with Big Finish, but obviously it's extra special to have that. And of course, not forgetting, we've got some amazing stuff coming from RTD at the end of the year on television. But, you know, for these first 11 months of the year, let's look forward to this Big Finish content that's coming our way. So before I start, obviously it's 60 years of Doctor Who this year, but let's not forget that there's also other anniversaries this year as well. For example, it's going to be 50 years um, since um, Joe Grant left the TARDIS to become Joe Jones, and we're exploring that again this year. It's also 10 years um, since we had the 8th Doctor's regeneration, and amazing character of Cass who made such an impact in such a short amount of time um, and it's also the 10th anniversary of the War Doctor so there's quite a few anniversaries this year which we're also celebrating within our content so this is a pure speculation video looking through each release and what I'm looking forward to the most about each release going through so let's start in January I've just got one release on pre-order from January and that is Doctor Who Time War 5 this is the new 8th Doctor box set kicking off a new phase really of, of the Time War for the 8th Doctor uh, and of course we've got in this cast coming back so I think they're going to continue to explore the multiverse um, in this story which will be really fun I'm just looking forward to seeing the Doctor's grandson back um, and hopefully Susan potentially in this box set or maybe in Time War 6 or maybe an additional box set coming out that they haven't announced yet with Susan in that maybe bridges the gap between Volume 5 and Volume 6 because these Time War ranges do cross pollinate and you do get the different characters go from range to range so maybe we'll get like the mcu another release in the time war that kind of carries this part of the story onwards but it, it's certainly reading kind of doctor magazine and vortex magazine there's quite a fun feel to it obviously it's great to see the eighth doctor as a part of a team again and actually exploring it and having a bit of fun really because you know the eighth doctor shouldn't get too involved with the time war as was sort of established in night of the doctor and um, it's nice to kind of see him stepping away a little bit because he got quite involved by the end of those kind of initial four box sets. So obviously I'm not complaining. I love those box sets and I thought they got stronger and stronger as we went through. But, you know, they're being cautious. They're being careful not to have him too involved yet because that's really the War Doctor's domain. But the big thing as well is if Cass is here, we're clearly coming towards the end of his lifetime. So bearing in mind they've already had four amazing box sets with the War Doctor, and obviously that's coming very, very soon chronologically from this box set. It'd be great to see if there's anything, any seeds that they plant now that we're going to see pay off in the War Doctor range, or vice versa, or any callbacks as well, um, to kind of make, make that cohesive between the two ranges. Now, moving on to February, we've got um, the finale for the Ninth Doctor Series 2, Shades of Fear. Now, I'm looking forward to this box set in particular because. Chris Eccleston always talks a lot about how much he enjoyed the Stephen Moffat script that he did on television, The Empty Child. And obviously we've got the Vashta Narada. And for quite a dark doctor, it'd be interesting to see how it kind of, how he gels with such a, you know, I think they'll gel really well with the Vashta Narada. It's not a monster I would have thought of. And again, it's one of those monsters that shouldn't really work in audio, but just does work and has done so far for the fourth and eighth doctors and now for the ninth so that's going to be fun i think a, a really dark story that's going to really you know um a great finale and something that will really take the ninth doctor you know really have him at his a game and i think the other great thing as well is we've had him with a few classic monsters now it's great to see him with some other classic monsters who were actually from after he left you know from the david Tennant era so looking forward to listening to that when it comes out and then of course in February we've also got um, the return of Joe Jones so obviously as I mentioned earlier uh, it's the 50th anniversary since um, Joe Grant left and now the third Doctor this is clearly going to be set between um, Green Death and um, Time Warrior where he meets uh, Sarah Jane that, yes I'm guessing that's going to be in, in that gap uh, there and yeah it'll be fun just to kind of see we've had a sort of taste of this already because um they did meet in the legacy of time um although i think he was still with 
young Joe at the time, so he was kind of seeing her older. That was an interesting dynamic. So we, we've we've seen the dynamic between a more mature Joe and the third Doctor. Imagine to see that across a bigger box and potentially travelling together, which looks really fun as well. So they've, they've been great releases so far, these third Doctor releases, and I think this will continue to you know up the game with that. So I'm looking forward to... Um, that box set and also i think it might deal with some of the demons from the war master box set that came out in 2021 in which joe jones was left quite disturbed by her encounter with the master and we were promised a payoff with that and this seems you know bringing back her doctor this seems likely the um solution the resolution the continuation of that story arc so if you're someone who follows all the ranges i don't think it will be required listening but i think certainly if you're someone who follows big finish i think you'll really get something out of this release moving into march we've got our first fourth doctor box set of the year new frontiers we've obviously got the fourth doctor with the ice warriors which i believe is a first for the fourth doctor on audio and television so i think that will be fun as well obviously this has been in the can for quite a while um and guy adams and phil marine are two writers that i really love listening to so i think this is going to be a great solid box set i think what's great is it's not one of those box sets that's got all these you know returning characters and ideas it's not one that links on this massive grand scale but i think we'll just get two really nice solid stories and as i've said before i always think the ice warriors get handled really well at big finish coming up in april uh, we've got the fifth doctor uh, adventures conflicts of interest i mean technically it's a kind of anniversary story in the sense that it is 40 years since the season in which this is set with you know that kind of post arc infinity fifth doctor traveling with nissa and tegan before they meet turlo for the uh, the trilogy involving the uh, black guardian um so yeah it'll be interesting to see kind of how they go obviously we're picking up the pieces from um mark and everything that happened there and obviously adric is still very much i know they've had a bit of closure but see if that kind of feeds in with that character development but these three strong characters have really been developed quite well with big finish over recent years now there's no date for this but around this time we should be getting the fugitive doctor box set starring joe martin i think she you know i love the characters i've said before i think it was a shame we didn't see more of her in future stories maybe it was planned obviously i know that series 13 got cut down because of the pandemic understandably um but it, I mean, I've, I've enjoyed reading the comic strips and it's just nice that there is that expanded universe of media that we can continue to learn more about these characters i'm hoping they don't reveal her origins i think it's nice if that gets left a mystery and certainly looking at the synopsis it looks as though this box set picks up immediately where the fugitive of the jadoon uh, episode leaves off with her on the run so we're not really exploring her origins more the character and i think she played it so well i think it's great to you know to get a box set from that era because we haven't had any 13th doctor era spin-offs yet so it's nice to be able to explore that this year and have another doctor recording with big finish and i hope she makes an appearance somewhere in once and future which i'll be coming to in just a moment so now we've got may which is quite a busy month the sixth doctor adventures we know nothing about there's no details at all um, they might be doing something different. They might be giving us a Perry box set, potentially. Um, although I'm hoping it's a direct continuation from the 2022 range with uh, Mel and Hebe because that was such a cliffhanger. I need that cliffhanger resolved. So hopefully the two releases next year continue that story. Although I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a Perry box set. Or maybe they'll give us two more box sets of this storyline, wrap it up after four box sets, and then in 2024 give us Perry. But who knows? Um, we've then got, as I mentioned before in May, uh, Once and Future, so Past Lives. So as you can see, I've ordered the limited edition here. Looking forward to seeing what that entails. I'm sure I'll do a few unboxings, etc. when we get more details and it arrives in the post. Um, yeah, so really exciting Time War story. I am hoping it's the War Doctor's era, and I'm hope because it certainly seems that way. As as I mentioned before, they've said it's been kind of two or three years in the making. They would have been casting their War Doctor around that time, so they would have been aware that they were going to be using the young War Doctor. So I'm hoping, because obviously if it's a temporal weapon, which it seems that the Doctor's been on the battlefield, he's been hit by a weapon, and he starts to regenerate back and forward, that seems to me like he's actively involved, which to me seems like the War Doctor. So hopefully it's the War Doctor kind of giving us the overall theme the overall um arc there um and it certainly makes sense with it being 10 years since day of the doctor that we're getting that little call back but we'll see but it's certainly a very exciting release which we'll be revisiting as we go along um i'm guessing i mean there's there's eight 
CDs. There's the full fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. No, it's, there's seven doctors confirmed. Now, it's whether they each get a CD each, and then they all come together in the last coda in 2024. So potentially this will have the fourth doctor, and then there'll be a fifth, sixth, or I'm hoping it's more of a you get several of them in the same episode jumping back and forward. So maybe you get, you know, each CD kind of has one doctor for a majority, but we still get to sort of whiz around them all. So hopefully we get a lot of doctors and a lot of characters, or maybe it's just simply you get to revisit the fourth doctor, visits a few odd faces. I know they mentioned there'll be lots of old companions in there. So maybe, but you know, let's just see, see what happens. But yeah, that'll be a fun release. Uh, lots of speculation around there and of course we got also in may 2023 another time will release we've got the war doctor begins comrades in arms um it's just great to continue exploring this this era really um again like with the eighth doctor box set in january it's starting a new phase of the time war so you know in the same way that time war 4 was very much a finale to that phase for the eighth doctor now moving into a new different phase of the war it's the same in the the December 22 box set, He Who Fights Monsters, was very much the end of the phase. And I think all the other box sets like, um, you know, Gallifrey War Room and potentially the War Master in this War Doctor box set will all be kind of set around the same time, moving that story onwards. But I mean, I can see from the artwork already, we have got, um, I've forgotten her name now, but she was a character who featured in the second War Doctor box set. So it's nice to see that they're, they're building that rapport and, and they know what works for this range and they're bringing back characters and things and concepts that work. So it looks like a really fun box set and the artwork on these is always phenomenal. So, Right, moving on, we have got um, the fourth Doctor second volume of the year. We've got some intriguing titles... Uh, especially the ghost of margaret which i think was added later now margaret i believe was a character who was introduced this year um in the kind of solo adventures and obviously this is set a little bit later and it is now him leela and a new character i don't think we've ever had other than k9 we haven't had the fourth doctor leela and another humanoid companion at the same time yeah we i don't think we have so i think that would be interesting to explore that dynamic um that is June, and also in June we've got Doctor Who in the Ark, which I think is the original version of the Ark in Space, but it's quite significantly different. And it's written by John Lucarotti, I believe, who wrote the Aztecs. Um, did he write Marco Polo as well? Yeah. So, that obviously he's long since passed, sadly, but it's his script that's been used. That sounds quite fun. Another of the Lost Stories range, which is great to have for the anniversary uh, year. And also in June, June's a bumper month. In fact, we've got four, five releases in June. So the Fourth Doctor, the Ark, another Fourth Doctor story. Uh, the Seventh Doctor Adventures, who knows what they're going to do with this. Um, they had two distinct box sets this year. Maybe they'll do the same. Maybe we'll get an Ace box set. We certainly need to, I think we need to wrap up the Ace and Mel storyline at some point. So potentially we'll see Ace and Mel get wrapped up in one of these box sets. And obviously put Mel in place on 21st century Earth, ready for uh, her appearance in Proud the Doctor. But also, I, I, my one of my highlights of 2022 was the um, Sullivan and Cross box set. And I hope that one of the box sets next year is also a sequel to that to give us a bit more um, story with Harry and Naomi together. But also, I, I do love the unit stuff, Fitz and um, Will, which would be great to kind of see... Um, Sorry, Elizabeth, isn't it? Klein. Yeah. Um, the the unit, 90s unit characters, anyway, that we have with the 7th Doctor. It would be nice to see at some point in a new box set. Uh, also in June, Solitary Confinement, War Master box set. We don't know anything about that. Certainly looks as though he's perhaps been captured. Maybe captured by the Time Lords or the Daleks. Maybe it's a, a long arc, a whole box set in which he's confined and we get maybe some flashbacks to different stories that comes together in a finale a little bit like what we had recently um in his box set with the tenth doctor maybe he's been captured by the time lords and he's recounting um a recent encounter whatever happens i hope we get the war doctor meet the war master for the first time properly there was a kind of a scene where they met in a parallel timeline in the most recent war doctor box set but i want to see them meet properly especially since Derek Jacobi and John Hurt did have history from being in I Claudius together. Um, and 
finally in June we've also got the second disc of Once and Future which is the artist at the end of time now uh, into July we have got three releases we've got Gallifrey War Room which again I think will be sort of set contemporary to the latest War Doctor box set so potentially we're going to see some connections potentially get some references between the two stories events kind of cross-pollinating and characters like Leela in the War uh, sorry the general cross-pollinating as well perhaps even a appearance or a reference to the War Doctor or the War Master as well uh, but other than that we don't know much about it Second Doctor Adventures, I'm assuming we're going to get Jamie in this box set. Nick Briggs has confirmed in the podcast that we're not going to get Daleks in this box set. Maybe Cybermen. I doubt we'll get Unit because I think from the continuity-wise, there was only one opportunity to include Unit, so they can't do that again. Um, I'd love to see if there's any more Time Lord action. Um, certainly some reference to that character who's meant to be the Dalek Emperor in human form. Hopefully we'll get some more on that. And also there was that Colony of Fear 6th Doctor story where there was someone who knew the 2nd Doctor and travelled with him, but the 6th Doctor didn't remember. That must take place at some point soon, and hopefully we get some payoff to that as well. Uh, and then going into July, we've also got um, a Genius for War, which is the third disc of Once and Future. Okay, into the summer month of August, this is holiday listening, uh, we've got uh, the second Six Doctor box set. Again, hopefully it's the fourth Hebe and Mel box set, but it could potentially be that one of them is a uh, Perry box set. Who knows? Um, Fugitive Doctor, again, let's just see what happens with the first one. This will obviously be continuing. You can see at this point, we're getting to the second half of the year. We don't know an awful lot. So I think this will be a quite quick part of the video now. Then we've got Once and Future, Two's Company, which is the fourth disc. That leads us into September. Fifth Doctor Adventures, who knows what's going to happen there. Um, I doubt it will have RMM in. I, I know in the podcast, Nick Briggs said that's probably something that they won't be exploring again. As good as the character is, they won't be going back been quite a while um pot potentially a turlo in the box potentially an adric box set um because we had the um we had nissa and tegan in the earlier box set maybe it's going to continue from that but i would guess they might do what they did with the seventh doctor and have two distinct box sets but we'll see um potentially it could be perry maybe we'll have hebe and mel in all the six doctor box sets and perry is then freed up to spend some more time with the fifth doctor although i would imagine it would be more looking at turlo potentially potentially boxer because him and turlo set before planet fire um but yeah let, 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 let's wait and find out uh then we've got the martian invasion of planetoid 50 uh, which is the fifth once and future release which is in september and then we find ourselves in october uh, we have got Classic Doctor's New Monsters. We've got the 4th, 6th, 7th and 8th. I don't think the 7th was in the most recent box set, so it's nice to see him back. Um, and, yeah, we've got The Silence, which is going to be really fun. Uh, we have got... Um, let me open this up. Oh, the Clockwork Droids. We've got... Oh, and then... Um, I know them from uh, the 12th Doctor Harmony shoulder they called. So that, that looks like it could be quite a bit of fun. Yeah. A very Moffat heavy box set. In a good way. It looks quite dark, quite broody. And certainly um, the 7th Doctor's in here is kind of darker phase from the TV movie. That's sort of more gothic. Obviously, the 4th Doctor's quite a gothic Doctor anyway. The 6th Doctor has got a dark side. The 8th Doctor's from the Time War here. So, yeah, looks quite exciting. Looks like we're going to be getting quite a dark box set there. Also in October, we've got the 6th and 7th episodes of Once and Future called Time Lord Immemorial and The Union. Um, they're the last two stories of 2023. There's nothing in 2020 in November because, obviously, they're leaving that blank for the TV stuff they don't want to upstage it I'm imagining so we get the coda then in 2024 so that's it I'm guessing they're wrapping it up here and then just having a bit of fun like they did in Stranded for the last episode or maybe we have to wait a whole year for that last part who knows after all they did do that for Zagreus after Neverland back in 20 years ago in 2003 some Doctor Box set again I can't speculate any more than I did for the last one it could be similar Eight Doctor Adventures A and B. I'm assuming it's two box sets carrying on with um, Liv and Helen. 
Although it'd be nice if one of them could have Lucy Miller or Charlie Pollard, um, seeing as it's 20 years since the kind of the big Ace Doctor and Charlie stories. Um, but yeah, or even a comic strip adaptation box set would be fun. A novel adaptation box set would be fun. Um, some more stuff with Mary Shelley. Who knows? There's all sorts that they could do. And that is November and December. Um, and then that brings us to another Warmaster box set. Hopefully one of the Warmaster box sets is going to have um, the War Doctor in this year. Let's let's see what happens. Rogue Encounters could be... I know there was a kind of mention on the podcast that there might be some kind of box set featuring a few Rogue Time Lords um, working together. So potentially this is maybe like the Warmaster, the Monk, um, the Eleven all fighting together in the Time War. Maybe even the Doctor is another Rogue. Who knows, but we could see all the different Rogue Time Lords together, working together. Or maybe he works with a different one, or encounters a different Rogue Time Lord in each episode. Again, all speculation based on the title. And finally, last release of the year, Enemy Mine, another War Doctor Begins box set. Now, they finished on a high in 2022 with that box set, and it looks like they're going to be finishing on a high again with another one. Um, but yeah, uh, that's what I'm speculating. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Probably my most anticipated releases are obviously going to be the Once and Future box sets. But also, I'm really looking forward to um, that Classic Doctor's New Monsters box set. And anything to do with the time will really. I mean, Cass is going to be a great opening to the year. But in particular, those kind of War Doctor, War Master, Gallifrey Warren box sets. Kind of, I just love this universe that's cross-pollinating. And of course, I'm also looking forward to seeing what else we get surprised with. I know throughout this year we've had a few box sets that we weren't expecting thrown our way. It'll be great to see what else they've got planned for this big, big year. But what about you? Uh, what are you looking forward to the most about 2023 in terms of the big finish output? Uh, do please let me know in the comments below. Um, I forgot to mention Future Doctor of course it's just great to get to see a new Doctor at Big Finish and also Doctor we don't know much about at all it's, it's it really is a clean slate it is a new start with a new Doctor really and, that, and that's really fun and really exciting so we get a new Doctor with the Future Doctor really and then later in the year we get shooting out with so two new Doctors to look forward to next year um, as always don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this and I look forward to speaking to you soon